much bigger threat to the men in blue. That's him! Kill the bastard with the video camera! Get him! minute ago, so... Trying to stay incognito. There's doors here, but it says secure facility. Now, wait a minute. This is the lobby. have your uh, Americans with Disabilities Act policy uh, for reasonable accommodation. Do you have that posted in here anywhere? Okay. I'm not seeing it anywhere. Yeah. Maybe it's over here on this board. Seeing it. We have veteran services up here, but that's it. Mm. Nothing about ADA. Well, some places have like vet, veteran courts and veteran like, specific correction stuff. It always irks me that these damn government officials always have these dual screens. You know what I mean? Like every single computer. This one doesn't have a dual screen, thank God. Like they, they have the, the, the multiple monitors, uh, two monitors, you know what I mean? Like they're actually getting twice as much work done or something. You know what I mean? It's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> they have to be able to switch quickly when the boss comes around. <laughs> Yeah. One's watching uh, Rogation on YouTube. Exactly. <laughs> what do we got going on here? Ooh, they got an FDC Tarvis Cup. Wonder if that's special order or if Tarvis is actually making Department of Correction Cups now because it ran out of sports teams. <laughs> Thin blue line memorabilia anyway? No. No, I'm not. So that's Hello. at least a good thing. Hello. How are you guys doing? All right. Good. How are you, ma'am? Are you going to talk to him over here at the next window? Excuse me? Were you going to talk with him at the next window? or? Uh, I, I, I don't want to be on camera, sir. 
Oh, that's fine. You're okay. Okay. What do you need? Um, I'm trying to find out if you guys have your um, ADA Section 504 policy posted anywhere for how, how probationers or anybody that needs a reasonable accommodation. Like what, who do they talk to? What's that process? It's supposed to be posted somewhere for the public to find it. Like for disability? Yeah. I have no knowledge of that, to be honest with you. Okay. Is there a, a supervisor or somebody that would be able to? I just see if I can get someone for All right, cool. Also, is there any way that I can get the uh, the last two uh, offender sign-in log sheets? I don't have authority to let anything go. Okay. I'm trying to get somebody out here for you. Okay. How you doing? Hey, I'm supposed to go see Ms. Wren about a traveling permit. Yeah. I just bring it back. Yeah. Right. There's a travel request. Oh, that's nice. It shows you all the uh, shows you all the counselor, all the probation officers on the board there. Okay. It shows you like schedule, Salazar's in training. So you just want a copy of yesterday's list? Yes. David Dahl? Yeah. Okay. Oh, good. I'm an office supervisor here. All right. All the doctors. Uh, oh, that's fine. Uh, Dahl like D O L L? Oh, that's easy to remember. Yeah. Yeah. I was asking, uh, ladies here, if you guys have your policy for Americans with Disabilities Act, Section 504, anywhere posted? You're talking about for employees? For anybody, for probationers. Uh, it should be readily available to the public. Uh, let's see. We'll We've looked. I haven't been able to find anything. Yeah. Uh, Oh, this is yesterday's. Thank you, ma'am. It might be in an intake packet. It should say, you know, who, who's the coordinator? Like, who do you talk to to make a reasonable accommodation request to what that process looks like? Yeah, if, uh, somebody makes calls to the call sort of office. Yeah, yeah. Like, if somebody makes a request and then it gets denied, there needs to be, like, a process saying, okay, well, this is how you would feel about denial. I think, I think we have that on the board inside. Okay. Is there, well, you need it for the employees, but also for anybody you service that comes to the okay. services. Sorry, I'm sorry I forgot that. We all, we all have things to learn. Like, yeah. Yeah, hey, we never stop learning, right? Are y'all looking for anything else besides the ADA? No. Okay, that's, pretty, that's, my, that's my pet project oh, is to make sure that anybody with a disability has, knows how to get make, make the request. Because most people don't even know that the ADA exists or Section 504 exists, and so then they just get, uh, they get told what to do. And then okay, and they said you wanted to copy the law? I, yeah, I already seen that. Um, the the only thing else that I would, would like to know is, um, and I know it's a, it's going to be general, right? Because as a probation office, people get on probation and get off probation every day. Right. So basically, when I go to probation's office, I look for just a general number uh, per month of how many client I call them clients, but <laughs> how many offenders we, we you call them clients? Too. Clients, okay. okay. Um, how many per month you serve? And again, just a general number, not like on the dot, oh, right? Gosh. But you talking about how many? Felony probation offenders are on right. supervision Who, in, in this circuit. Well, and no, and just for this office, probably about ballpark figure a thousand people. Oh, wow. a thousand people. Yeah. 
net rotates, like per share fluctuates, but about a thousand. Yeah, that's the same as like uh, Seminole County, Orange County. The, the, I've gotten the same yeah. same figures go, from them. Guys, let me go check on the ADA. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Yeah, no, I don't want to take up your time. Yeah, that, that's, that's about the same numbers I get from a lot of the larger counties, so yeah. that makes sense. Not that Bay Area's uh, county's huge, but I mean, it's still pretty good population number wise, you know? Um, and then plus, you have to come on probation, leave, you know, or come on vacation, leave on probation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this is a hot tourist spot, so I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure there's probably, no, I don't know, because this is DOC, so these are people that have already either been to prison or. Or something along those lines, because this is parole also. Yeah. Which these guys have been a lot more accommodating than I tell people, dude. Two, three, four years ago when I started, never get this kind of service ever. Mm -hmm. It didn't matter what office you went to, DMV. Yeah. No, it didn't matter. But after years of doing this now. Yeah, you know they're all over the country doing it. Yeah, they're still they're getting the memo. They're getting the memo out, yeah. which is good. You know, who wants to look like an idiot online for the rest of their life? Or you know what I mean? I guess with um, that Brian Craig appointment that I had, uh -huh. he like was deep into the lobby. He told the security guard, "Like I'm not going to be on YouTube for this." <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, actually, you are, buddy. <laughs> Everybody's that, gonna that point and laugh. <laughs> You were on YouTube before you came out. Like, <laughs> there were whispers on you in Russia. <laughs> People in the Ukraine were going, did you see that video on Brian Gray? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. He's up, he's going to end up having to come here. <laughs> That's funny, dude. <laughs> Next thing you know, Benny Hill's doing a skit about <laughs> Brian Gray. <laughs> <laughs> With that silly music. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> he runs behind Brian at the bus stop and starts patting his head. Unicycle. Yeah. I love those old flicks, man. Benny Hill was so funny. Yeah. He didn't have, he didn't have his truck going through the vet center parking lot. It's a unicycle. <laughs> uh, Speaking of which, when, when we left this morning, I stopped by the gas station yeah. and there was some dude on. This little is like a miniature motorcycle. I know it had to be for like a kid or whatever. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It was barely like a foot off the ground. Yeah. And he was riding it. And his feet were like sticking out past the front tire. And, right. you know, he had to hold his legs up. It was so Family. funny. No, he was in the gas station parking oh, lot. But I'm, I'm probably sure he went down one of the side roads. Yeah. <laughs> it was just we're, so we're funny. Rolling down one of these busy main roads. Talk to my circuit administrator. Yeah. And he's checking. All right. Okay. Yeah, this is something that you guys so, can put up. You think? Yeah, first we'll here. Put it up. We'll put it back up. All right. Cool. We'll put it up. And yeah, I'm like, guys. We have it on a board in there. Okay. Let's check. Yeah, it's got to be one for the public too. So yeah, it's just uh, something that you can do. Twenty-five documents back there. So. Right. Yeah. And then uh, I don't know if you guys have it on the website. I haven't checked the website, but it, that's something you can pass up too. That some people can't access. Like I would be able to read it here. Yeah, you talking about on the Department of Corrections website? Yeah, or even just for this facility, it's going to be um, accessible so that people can't. Uh, a lot of yeah. times people put up signs and they think, oh, well, this is good enough. But yeah. as so my like, friend any, says, any he can't. That you have, I have, I can't read it. So you talk about it in, in Braille? No, no, I'm online because this, uh, like, my phone and computer will be able to read it. Uh, to me, technology today, it's great. So it's called a screen screen reader. We'll be able to read stuff. I'm a little yeah. lacking in technology. Yeah. yeah. Well, he teaches me something every day with technology. Look at all that stuff he's got on him. Like a damn TV station there. Yeah. We're all connected to our phones. All right. He's supposed to call him back. I'm waiting for his call. Oh, okay. All right. But he said it's probably in the intake packet for the uh, offenders, clients. Let me go look at one. Okay. Okay. We do have an intake packet. We've got one up here. Good question. Hey, Ms. Mack, can I see an intake packet? Because that, that would make sense. You come in, you, sure. get, you get your packet, everything. Right. And by the way, if you need an accommodation, here's how you do it. Yeah. Right. All right. And you're free to look at this. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm sure nothing's confidential. This is, um, 
This is basically the instructions we go over. The first one is how to succeed and benefit from supervision. The second one talks about the um, new education and employment incentives. Next one is employment notification and verifications. Um, it gives forms available online with the website. Just talking about reporting to probation office, complaints and grievance process, emergency contact, firearms, weapons, and explosives information, criminal registration, remaining drug free, home verification, restoration of voting rights. And I don't see anything about ADE on here. Mm -mm. It would actually be perfect in there because then everybody gets one that's coming in, yeah. you know. The only thing in here, in the bank, you have a language barrier, documented disability that make will make effective communication okay. difficult without the assistance of a translator or auxiliary aid service. This must be relayed to your officer as soon as possible, unless another form of communicate effective communication mm -hmm. um, is established and agreed upon. The department will provide an interpreter or translator during your initial orientation and instruction at the beginning of your supervision period as well as during other scheduled meetings where significant communications involving non-compliance and significant communications involving non-compliance violations of supervision. Yeah, so that's a, that's a first start that says, hey, if you, can, if you need it, you can make the request, but then there needs to be right. an actual policy saying how to make the request and this how you guys process it. This is our HIPAA form, what we can and cannot give out concerning personal information. Right, the medical files, HIPAA. Those only usually per, uh, pertain to medical providers and stuff, so I guess that would probably pertain to any nurses or anything on your staff. Authorization and release of information. Hurricane evacuation plan, that's always a good thing here in Florida. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. I assume y'all aren't from Florida? Oh, I am. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah. Were you here during Hurricane Michael? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've been. So I'm a native here, but I've moved away, but I've been back since uh, 2004, so. You give out tickets, not registration. Mm -hmm. It's just a copy of what they were people fill out every month. Supervision report, yeah, just basically how they're doing. Yep, working. Anything new, same address. Yep. So I don't see anything about ADE in this packet. Yeah. Yeah, just that little blurb about, yeah. you know, if you need one. That's the, that's the first start, and then, yeah, the, the policy needs to be readily available and it's supposed to be posted. And that way okay. they can say, okay, if I do make that request, yeah, like then what happens? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I can leave you uh, an email address and then whatever to get a response from just shoot me an email and say, hey, this is, we're going to work on it, we're going to post it. And sure. That yeah, we'll come back in at a later date. Do you have a business call? Uh, uh, I do in my car, yeah, but... Thank you, Ms. Mack. I can, I can write it down here, uh, my email address on there. If you want, and then I can just forward it to this young man. Here. Mr. Lister right now. Yes, sir. Sounds good. All right. Thank you. Bye. He's still checking. Yeah. Um, the only thing he sees right now is that we're required to have the ADA posted in your office. Mm -hmm. um, but he's still checking. He said if it needs to be put up, we're going to. Yeah, I, mean, I, I can send you. Yeah, I can send you the subsection of the, the ADA that says it's supposed to be for the public as well. So. Well, if you can send that to me, then I can forward yeah. to him. So. Absolutely. Yeah. And let me give you my card. Yeah, there you go. And then that way. You can send me an email. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's a beautiful yeah, day. Yeah, beautiful. Stuck in here. Yeah. Well, we're enjoying the two weeks of spring we get here every year before summer kicks yeah. in in full force. Like <laughs> <Friday>. <laughs> yeah, you get two weeks of spring, two weeks of fall, two weeks of winter. Some people say you have four, four seasons wrapped in a couple of days. Yeah, it is. It's true. Yeah. But. I, think our I, I wouldn't live anywhere else. We planted our garden too early because, like, we had a cold snap just wiped it out. Uh, yeah, I was wondering about that or yeah. something like that. If you complain about traffic, just go to Orlando and visit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, try the villages. I live right by the villages. That's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> that probably makes me more angry.
it's just that little section right there from Ocala yep. to where the Leesburg splits. Yep. <laughs> it's insane. And they're growing. They keep growing. And, Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> David Dahl at FDC yes, My Florida. You got your camera on, buddy? I'm gonna yeah, go for it. Yeah, I'm going to put that right there in your camera. All right. And then uh, I'm going to put it on my camera, and then I'll give it to you so that way the wife has it for you. Okay. Here you go, sir. That's Thanks, David. Thank you. Yeah. David. Right. Thank you, sir. You've been very Thank professional. You. The office next door, what is that? Is that just part of it? You talk about right next door? Like no, side. like over here, I saw there was Across another the street, door. There's a um, Jehovah Witness Church. Next door is the U.S. Lawns. No, no, it's like like right in this same building, like just a couple of feet down, there's one. It's got the F, it's got the D FTC sign on it. Oh, the whole building is just our building. Uh, oh, okay. So it's all basically the same stuff. Those are probably just probations over there, right, officers? Yeah. All right. Thank you, David. Yeah, if you would, please email me that yeah. information yeah. so I can forward it to the office. Well, then, yeah, okay. absolutely. Yeah, right. we could all, all stand and learn a little something new, right? Every day. Yep. All right. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank yes, you. sir. You too. Yep. Watch out. There you go. Scoot a little bit to the left. Well, David wasn't too bad. Yeah.